Hello Math Enthusiast! Welcome sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. Ngayon, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa discriminant. Ano ba ang discriminant? Para saan ba ang discriminant? Paano ba sinasolve ang discriminant? Halina't sagutin ang mga tanong na ito sa ating discussion. Okay, let's start. The discriminant determines the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. Now, dahil sa discriminant o pag sinolve natin yung discriminant, malalaman natin or ma-identify natin ano yung nature ng roots ng quadratic equation na yun. The expression b squared minus 4ac is the quadratic equation's discriminant. So, itong b squared minus 4ac, kung mapapansin nyo, sa quadratic formula, ito yung nasa loob nung pinaka-radical sign. So, mas madali nyo matatandaan itong formula na to kung kabisado nyo yung quadratic formula. Now, meron tayong tatlong nature of roots. Depende dun sa magiging value ng ating discriminant. If b squared minus 4ac is 0, Kung ang nasolve nyong discriminant ay equal kay 0, then the roots are real and equal. Ibig sabihin, ang roots na masusolve nyo ay totoo, real, at pareho ng value. Okay, next, b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. If the discriminant o yung nasolve mong discriminant ay mas mataas kesa kay 0, then the roots are real and unequal. So, real pa rin siya, pero hindi na siya magkapareho. Magkaibang roots na siya. And then, the last nature, yung huling nature ay b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. Kung ang nasolve mong discriminant ay mas mababa kay 0, then the roots are not real. Imaginary siya. So, kailangan natin makomplete yung mga information na kailangan ng table na to. Kailangan natin ibigay si A, B, C, isolve ang discriminant. Based dun sa discriminant, kailangan natin ibigay kung ano yung nature ng roots. Isolve ang mga roots. Pag nasolve na natin yung dalawang roots, kailangan kunin natin yung sum and product. Ia-add natin and then imumultiply. Okay, let's start x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0. So, first, kailangan muna natin i-identify yung a, b, and c. At alam natin na ang a, siya yung numerical coefficient ng ating leading term, b for our middle term or second term, and c for our constant term. Since tayo dito ay x squared, ang numerical coefficient niyan ay 1. Okay, for b, we have 4. And for C, we have 3. And then, we solve for the discriminant. Ang formula natin ay B squared minus 4AC. Mas madali na tayong magsasubstitute ng mga values ng mga letter na yan kasi andito na siya. Na-identify na natin siya. Titingnan na lang natin siya. So, B squared, ang B natin ay 4. 4 squared minus 4 times ang A natin ay 1. And then, ang C natin ay 3. And then, 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 3 is 12. So, 16 minus 12 is 4. So, our D is equal to 4. Now, ano ba yung masasatisfy niyan dito sa tatlo? Si 4 ba equals kay 0? 4 ba ay greater than 0? O yung 4 ba is less than 0? So, obviously, nandito tayo sa pangalawang nature, which is real and unequal. So, ang dapat masolve nating roots ay real and unequal. Hindi sila dapat equal. Hindi sila pareho. Now, let's try to, sol to solve for the roots. Ito, para magawa natin tong dalawa. Okay, x squared plus 4x plus 3. Meron tayong apat na ways kung paano kunin yung roots. Pero yung pinakamadali at tingin kong mas applicable dito sa given na to ay factoring. Kasi maliit na numbers lang naman yun nandito. So, 0. So, ano ba yung factor ng 3? 1 times 3 na lang yan, wala nang iba. Check nga natin kung mag-yield siya ng 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. So, 1 times 3 
or 1 and 3 ang factors niya. So, since x squared to x times x, and then 1 and 3. Now, since ang ating last term ay positive, alam natin na pareho yung sign dapat nitong dalawa. So, magiging pareho lang sila kapag, or magiging positive lang ang magiging answer kung pareho silang negative at pareho silang positive. Pero looking at the middle term, kung titignan natin yung middle term, positive siya. So, it means ito ay positive and positive. Okay, and then i-equate na natin sa zero yung bawat isa x plus 1 equals 0, and then x plus 3 equals 0. And then, we transpose yung 1, kaya magiging negative na siya. So, x is equal to 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Ganon din kay 3. So, x is equal to negative 3 paglipat, siya, paglipat niya dito. So, 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Okay, so we have the roots negative 1 and negative 3. Tama ba? Ang unequal ba sila? So, we're correct kasi magkaiba sila. Now, ang first root natin ay negative 1 and then negative 3. Itong dalawa, pwede naman silang magkapalit. Ha? Okay, so negative, we get the sum. So, i-add natin sila kasi ito yung hinihingi dito. So, negative 1 plus negative 3 is negative 4. Then, yun lang yun. And then, negative 1 times negative 3 for the product, the answer is negative, negative, positive, 1 times 3 is 3. So, ayan na ang first given natin. Ngayon, may mga given pa ako sa baba. Iba't ibang klase yung given na binigay ko para malaman nyo kung paano ba isosolve yung certain given o yung cer certain type, type ng given. Okay, number 2, x squared minus 5x minus 14. So, identify muna natin yung a, b, c. a is still 1. b is negative 5. And then, C is negative 14. And then, we solve for the discriminant, B squared minus 4AC. Our B is negative 5, so negative 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 14. Okay, so this will be 25 minus 4 times 1 is a 4 times negative 14 is 56. So, negative 56. So, 25 minus 56, K, C, C, sa subtraction, so plus, plus. 25 plus 56 is 81. So, our D is 81. Since our discriminant is greater than 0, then we say that it is also real and unequal. Now, let's solve for the roots. Okay. Mas madali rin tong isolve using factoring equals 0. Ano ba yung mga factors ni 14 na pwedeng mag-yields ng 5? So, ang factors ng 14 ay dadalawa lang. It's either 1 times 14 or 2 times 7. Pero alin dyan, yung pwede nating i-add or i-minus na ang magiging sagot ay 5. Obviously, 2 and 7. So, we have here 2 and then 7. And then we have x squared, so x and then x. Since our third term is negative, we, we can say, or masasabi natin, or ang mga factors natin dapat magkaiba ang sign. Isang positive, isang negative, or isang negative, isang positive. Pero kanina ba natin ilalagay si negative? Kanina ba natin ilalagay si positive? Tingnan natin yung middle term. Since ang middle term natin ay negative, dapat daw yung negative sign nandun sa mas mataas na value. So, 2 and 7, mas mataas si 7. So, ito ang negative. Ito ngayon ang positive. And then, we solve. Equate natin both by 0. x plus 2 equals 0. Saka, x minus 7 equals 0. And then, we transpose. 
So, magiging x is equal to negative 2 kasi 0, tas nilipat siya minus 2 is negative 2. And then, this one will be x equals to 7. Kasi negative 7, pag nilipat positive 7, 0 plus 7 is 7. So, we have roots na negative 2 and 7. So, yung isa natin ay negative 2, yung isa ay 7. Now, let's have the sum. Negative 2 plus 7. So, negative 2 plus 7 is 5. And then, product negative 2 times 7 is 14 since different signs sila negative. Okay, number 3, x squared minus 49 equals 0. So, as you can see, mapapansin nyo, wala siyang second term or wala siyang b. Ang meron lang tayo, a and c. So, our a here is 1. Our b is 0 and our c is negative 49. Kasi dalawang term lang sila. Okay, since alam na natin yan, let's solve for the discriminant. Ang formula ulit ay b squared minus 4ac. So, ang b natin ay 0 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 49. Okay, 0 squared is 0 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times negative 49 is negative 196. So, 0, so K, C, C, 0 plus plus, so 0 plus 196 is 196. K, C, C is keep change, change ha. Yan yung rule natin sa subtraction para mas mabilis natin matandaan. Since Positive 196 yan. Ano ba yung na-meet niyang situation dito? So, na-meet niya ulit yung second situation wherein D is greater than 0. 196 is greater than 0. So, the same pa rin. Ang kanyang roots or ang nature ng roots niya ay real and unequal. Hindi pa rin equal ang mga roots niya. Excuse me. Okay, ngayon, isolve naman natin yung mga roots. x squared minus 49 equals 0. So, mas madali itong isolve using yung by extracting the square root. Okay, pwede naman din siyang factoring. Madali din naman siya. Pero, ipakita ko yung by extracting the square root. So, we have here x squared minus 49 equals 0. So, i-isolate ito. Ililipat natin ito. Kaya, magiging x squared is equal to positive 49. And then, square root, square root, cancel, cancel. x is equal to positive negative 7. So, isang positive, isang negative. Isang x is equal to positive 7, saka isang x is equal to negative 7. Yan ngayon yung mga roots natin. They are unequal, hindi sila equal. So, first root natin is 7, yung second root natin ay negative 7. Now, ang sum natin ay 7 plus negative 7. Since different sila ay minus kaya magiging 0. 7 plus negative 7 is 0. And then, we multiply, get the product 7 times negative 7 is negative 49. So, that's it for number 3. Now, let's go for number 4. x squared plus 10x plus 25. So, ito ngayon, ang a natin ay 1 dito. And then, 10. And then, 25. And then, we get the discriminant b squared minus 4ac. Ang b natin ay 10. And then, you square it. Top, sorry, minus 4. Okay, minus 4ac, which is 4 times 1 times 25. So, we have here 10 squared, 100, minus 4 times 1 is 4, times 25 is 100. So, 100 minus 100 is 0. So, iba to kaysa dun sa una nating tatlong example kasi ang D niya ay 0. So, ano yung na-meet niya dito? 
Ang na-meet niya ay yung first situation which is D is equal to 0. So, 0 is equal to 0. Then, the roots are real and equal. Real ulit siya pero equal na. Pareho na yung magiging values ng ating roots. Okay, let's have for the roots. So, factoring na lang para mas madali din. Sorry. So, 25. Ano, ano, ano? So, 25. Ano, ano yung mga factors ni 25? We have a 5 times 5 and 1 times 25. So, alin dyan sa dalawa na yan ang magbibigay sa atin ng 10 pag in or sinubtract natin? Obviously, ito. So, meron tayong 5 here and then 5 dito. X squared, X and then X. Since positive to, pareho dapat yung sign. So, plus and plus or minus and minus. Pero dahil ang middle term natin ang magdi-decision kung anong sign, positive tayo. So, plus and then plus. And then, we equate both with 0. X plus 5 equals 0. X plus 5 equals 0. So, here nilipat magiging negative 5. So, x is equal to negative 5. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. And then, here nilipat din. So, x is equal to negative 5 also. So, kung mapapansin nyo, tama yung nature natin. Equal sila kasi negative 5, negative 5. Now, we write here negative 5, negative 5. And then, we get the sum. Negative 5 plus negative 5 is negative 10. And then product, negative 5 multiplied by negative 5 is positive 25. That's for number 4. At kung kayo ay bago pa lang po sa ating YouTube channel, meron po tayong Facebook page, Love Math. Pakisearch po ito and then i-follow nyo po. Marami po tayo ditong mga videos tungkol sa matrix na makakatulong sa inyo. Huwag na din po ninyo itong kalimutang i-share para kumalat ang mga informasyon tungkol sa mat At huwag na huwag kalimutang pindutin ang subscribe button ng ating YouTube channel para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na ia-upload ko. At huwag din kalimutang mag-comment kung kayo ay may mga gustong video tutorials na gawin ko. Thank you and spread the love of math! Bye!